Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I was, how was your week been? Good. Good. Um, so last week we've talked about some, or the last over the last couple of weeks we've talked about some uh, some anger things. We've talked about some uh, family things and some uh, other other things as well. So this week you're just gonna play with the yeah. with the dry erase board. <laughs> Uh, this week we talk about whatever it is that you what's on your brain. This is our last video, um, and so we can talk about whatever's on your brain. What you want to talk about? You're a, you're a freshman in co or a freshman in college, freshman <laughs> in high school, and so you're going going forward, coming to the end of your school semester and everything. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on. Well, this <clears throat> week I have EOCs. Okay. And finals, which hopefully I won't have to take my final, because um, me and a couple other kids did an essay about um, a book, and if it was good enough, our teacher said that we did not have to do our final. Okay. And I hope to God is good enough. Okay. So I don't have to do the final because I really don't want to. And um, yeah, there's that, and um. Our guard is also starting to come to an end, so we have our final or whatever our solos that we're doing. Gotcha. Um, that are that we're doing Friday, and that'll be kind of the end until because I guess we won't really be doing anything. There is like the last week of school, I guess. Right. So your finals are this week, but you have a whole another half week of school after this week, right? Um, yes, sir. But, um, we don't really have finals this week, not in my one academic class that I'm taking this year. <laughs> and so, I, I only have one academic class this semester, right, and that's right. lit. And, um, our finals or whatever are not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Oh, okay. gotcha. And so, yeah. But so, hopefully I won't have to take it. So, you're hoping that you don't have to take the exam? For the final exam and lit, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, color guard. You said you're getting ready for your final in color guard. What is uh? Um, what is your final going to be in color guard? We don't really have grades in right. color guard. Yeah. And so this, because like band has scale tests and other stuff like that, guard will do like we did like a test grade or whatever as duets like. Two people pick a song, gotcha. and they come up with the routine and counts for that song. Okay. Well, solos are the same thing, except it's just you. Gotcha. So that's kind of like getting, our final or gotcha. whatever. You get graded on on that, on coming up with a routine and counts and performance Basically. and all that. So you have to perform that in front of people um, or just in front of your captains or teachers or whatever. Um, it depends. We are definitely doing it. In front of our band director, obviously. Gotcha. But um, we don't know if we're doing it in front of percussion, which is the class we share. Okay. Because that he couldn't get us, like, a class because there's no skinnies this year. Right. And so it's all in 90-minute blocks. Gotcha. And so we got booted out to the hallway, so we don't have to. <laughs> okay. So either he's going to come out into the hallway and watch us perform, or we're going to go into the band room and do it in front of percussion and stuff. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, Color Guard, something that you've been, you've you've done, just started this year. Yes, sir. And you started over the summer with practice and everything. And um, you were in, uh, gone to the football games, the home games, and the away games. And you seem to have really, really enjoyed Color Guard. Is that something that you're planning on doing for the, the next uh, three years in high school, or is it something that you want to try to do something else? Or no, I really enjoy color guard. Okay. I like it a lot, and I w I want to do it all four years. Okay, good, good. That's awesome. That's awesome. You already have that, you know, um, I guess attitude that 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 commitment that you want to you want to try to do that for the your whole four years of of high school. Now, do you get to? Uh, is it, is it considered a varsity sport, so you get to letter, or? Um, we're not really a sport. 
I guess we're a marching man. Right. But we they kind of are a sport. But yes, we do get to letter. Okay, good. Which so, I'm actually lettering at the end of the semester. Right. Right. Yep. Get your uh, your uh, the the big letter B on the on your jacket. Yes, sir. And you already got your jacket. Yes. You sir. Got your name on and all that stuff, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so uh, what are your plans for the uh, the Christmas break coming up? Um, my plans. Well, I do know that we go back to our hometown for uh, Christmas. I'm not quite sure when. I haven't really heard anything about that. And um, I know we're going to move conference this year as well. And I can't wait for that. Because I really love doing that. And I'll also see a lot of close friends and stuff. So I'm ready for that. And then my birthday is also during winter break. And I'm excited for that. Because I just like having my birthday. But like for my birthday, I don't really want to do anything big. I just want some friends over or go to a restaurant or something for my friends. Yeah. With my friends. And just hang out. Okay. All right. And then what do you have on, uh, on the schedule for your your classes for school uh, next semester when you get back from break, because that's when the new semester starts. Is, yes, all new classes. Yep, yeah, all new classes. So what do you have on tap for um, for that? Well, I have American government, algebra, Spanish, one, and then journalism, which is yearbook. Okay. Um, good. So those classes, American government, algebra, and Spanish – are all pretty much letter grade classes. I mean, they're they're stuff you're going to have to study for and take tests on and things like that, yes, right? Sir. And then uh, journalism is is your yeah. book your book staff uh, taking pictures and doing articles and things like that, right? We don't really. We were going to do like a school newspaper, but we never got to because we've been so busy because deadlines. Um, literally, our first deadline hit a few weeks ago. And now we have a deadline right before break. Gotcha. And like the dead, we had like two months for our first deadline. Our second deadline is within like a couple of days, I guess. And um, we just have like deadlines start. It like start. It started like a long time, and then it's back, and then we hit back to back to back. And then it just kind of spaces out some, and then we have to finish it. Okay. So with with journalism, because you were in color guard this first half of the year, uh, you didn't. You only kind of went to class for journalism, right? Right. So after the winter break, you're not going to be in color guard. So you're not going to have to go to go to uh, games and stuff like yeah. that. So which that's been over. We right. Only yeah. Do football games. Right. So what sports are there coming up that you're going that you can be a part of? Because I know you take pictures. Mm -hmm. So what what sports are coming up that you um, would be a part of? As far as taking pictures goes. I usually take pictures around school. I don't really like now. It's only basketball games. Okay. And I don't really like that. Which. Most of the photo photojournalists have already, like, said, oh, I'm going this game, this game, this game, this game. And so I'm like, mm, I don't really want to go to those games because that's a really hard. Well, it's not really hard. It's just odd okay. trying to take pictures for that. Because gotcha. you have to get it certain times, sh certain shots for stuff. And it's really hard, especially if you don't understand the game. Right. I don't. <laughs> And so I um I hope to take pictures for oh, baseball. Excuse me. Okay. That's coming up in the spring. And um hopefully if my journalism advisor is okay with it, band is going on a trip this spring and it's not during the break, it's actually during school for a day and they're going we're going to Universal and we have park hopper passes. So it's universal in like the world of Harry Potter, and so I'll, I'm gonna see if it would be okay if I take pictures and take pictures of band kids on this go. trip because yeah, it would absolutely. be really really good for the band page. Yeah, absolutely, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. All right. That's about the only sport 
is baseball, really, that I'd rather take pictures for. Okay. But any, like, um, I usually take pictures around school, at lunch, in the halls, um, during classes, because, like, we need a lot of filler pictures. Right, okay, so for your yearbook. Yes. Gotcha. And, like, filler pictures are just, like, random pictures with small captions, like, um, student or teacher let student teach the class for three days. That's what happened in my class. One of the, uh, the students who's actually a grade higher than um, most of the other cl other kids in our cl my class is, um, we were doing class essay. Well, it's the same essay for everyone. So he actually wrote the essay over the weekend before we had even got started on it. And he literally, for three days, um, uh, taught the class, I guess. And he's a sophomore, and he took 10th grade lit his freshman year, and he's ninth grade lit his sophomore year. And so, like, he's really knowledgeable, I guess. And, like, he definitely shows it. And he definitely talks about it and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, like, uh, teacher let student teach the class for a day or something like that is a filler page right. like that. Um, this past week, we actually had a Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater contest. And me and my partner are doing the spread for that. And I took pictures and covered two different lunches mm -hmm. to take pictures and get people signed up for it. So we have to we do have to take more pictures and stuff like that. But yeah. We just have to take pictures of certain things that's going on and all that. Well that's cool. It sounds like you really enjoy doing the journalism journalism aspect of, of school right now. I do. Yeah, it seems like you, you're really enjoying that. And it sounds like too that you enjoy literature. Mm -hmm. That class. So I do. I love that class because we have um, two teachers, because it's like pair teachers, okay. and they are both hilarious. <laughs> My, one of the pair teachers, she is so funny, and like, there's this one thing about her, you will never see her in the same pair of New Balances. She, I never, she has this, it's a type, her shoe is New Balances, and I've never seen her wear the same color New Balances. <laughs> Except for game days, um, when football season was still on, every Friday, which was game day, you saw her with her Brunswick High Pirates <laughs> tennis shoes on, her New Balance, and she, yeah. Nice. You never saw, I still don't see her in the same pair of shoes. Nice. So, uh, so is that something that you, uh, sounds like since you, you do sound like you really enjoy it, is that something that you would maybe look at wanting to do after high school or yes yeah um my after high school i plan to go to college obviously and um get an associate's a bachelor's all that kind of stuff and then get my teaching degree and i've thought about teaching kindergartners but like it's kind of hard to teach kindergartners <laughs> i probably couldn't those are the little ones Whew. Yeah, and like, I could probably deal with kindergartners, it's probably parents that would really get me annoyed, and like, I don't think I could work as a high school, or a middle school, I could probably work as a high school teacher, probably not in middle school, because they're just really immature, and like, they find the weirdest things funny, and they're very disruptive, coming from my point of view, as yeah, a student I, last I, year. I gotcha, I gotcha. I notice because like I'm pretty <laughs> sure because I have a friend who's a year younger than me and who's in a lot of classes. I wasn't last year, and she's like, "Yeah, this teacher isn't here. This teacher isn't here." And I'm like, well, "Dang," because like my class for that certain teacher was like really bad, and I'm pretty sure that we probably made her quit or retire early or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think I could deal with middle schoolers. Probably okay. high schoolers, maybe elementary. Okay. Uh, so you talk about college. What uh, 
what college you, you're looking at going to. You're trying to go to a community college or you're trying to go um, to like a, a four year college or out of state, in state, down south, up north, out west. Anything, any ideas right now? I know you're in ninth grade, but any ideas on where you can start um, planning now or you'll never. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, um, there is a community college here. I don't think I would go to that unless, like, that's the only option I had. But I want to go to Georgia Tech and all four years there. And then if they don't, like, offer a teaching degree, which I'm not quite sure if they do or not, I would think they do, but I don't think so. I don't think they do. I don't think so either because there's technical college. And, like, I'd go to somewhere else probably for, like, two years or something because I would have, like, at Tech, I would have already gotten my core classes and um, some other stuff. And I would have, I probably would go somewhere else, I'm not quite sure yet, and get my teaching degree. And because, like, I want my computer engineering or whatever degree, too. Okay. And so I'll have that to fall back on if my teaching degree or teaching whatever didn't work out. Gotcha. And I was just about to ask you what, you know, if you said Georgia Tech, so what, what degree would you, would you want from there? But you said it, you said computer engineering degree. Yes, so yeah, that's a, you know, that's a pretty, um, pretty, probably a pretty big degree to, to, to try to get. So yeah, absolutely. And, um, and then you said you'd just go somewhere after that for a couple of years for your teaching degree? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll probably come back home and try and either come back home or, like, go somewhere else. Gosh. I don't really plan to go out of state unless it's, like, maybe Florida. That's about it. Okay. Because, like. You want to try to stay close to, yeah. to home? Yes, sir. Because, like, okay. I remember I travel. we traveled a lot being younger and stuff and I've seen a lot of places and like kind of want to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what places have you seen? Um, I've seen, like we lived in Texas, lived in Alabama, been to Florida, been to West I've been to a lot of Virginia's, I don't know. Um, DC, South and North Carolina. Um, been in Louisiana. Been in Mississippi. Kind of like the whole coast. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. In Florida and yeah, all that. Yeah. All right. So you said you, but you lived in you lived in Texas. Mm-hmm. You lived in Alabama. What do you remember about Alabama? Not a lot, what? because I was, <laughs> um, <laughs> the only reason I know I lived in Alabama is because my parents told me, Yeah. because I was a baby, and they moved back to Georgia, or back into Georgia, we lived, like, right on, this Georgia, this is Alabama, we kind of lived, like, right here, yeah. because, I mean, he worked in Fort Benton, so, it was just, Right there. Right there. Right there. Yep. That's the only thing I remember about Alabama. Okay. So Alabama, then you lived in Georgia. You lived in Georgia for the majority of your life then. Texas was a short stint. Um, less less than a year. Only because of job Jobs. work working out. Mm-hmm. So um, but okay, cool. So it sounds like you kind of got your future um, not necessarily planned out, but kind of ideally kind of guided where you want it to go and that's good you know this year being your ninth grade year and everything you you've got a um you've got a good foundation a good start on what you want to do for the next three years to finish high school and then beyond high school you've already kind of got in your mindset that you want to you know do certain things you want to do things in order so that you know you can have like you said you want to go to tech so that you can get your uh, computer engineering degree so that if the teaching thing doesn't work out you can fall back on that or if the computer engineering group degree you know doesn't work out you can fall back on a teaching degree or something so I, I like that that's that's pretty awesome that you um that you had that planned out you know when I was in ninth grade I didn't think about anything like that I really didn't I, I mean I was 
I was thinking about what time I had to go into work that afternoon. And, um, especially after I, after I turned 15 and everything, I was like, okay, I got to go into work this afternoon. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to you know, get gas in the car or whatever it is. And then I didn't start thinking about what I was going to do after high school until probably my 10th or 11th grade year. And I was like, I'm not going to college. And that's what I told my teachers. And that's what I told myself was I'm not going to college, you know? And so I, I joined the military. Straight, and I knew that that's something that I wanted to always do. My dad was in the military. My granddad was in the military. My brother was in the military. So it's something that I always wanted to do was to, you know, as soon as I get out of high school, just join the Army. And so that's what I did. You know, I got out and joined the Army. And looking back at it, I, I think back and I'm like, you know, I probably really should have gone to college after high school. Even if it was just for like a two-year degree or something like that, just to get that aspect out of out of the way, but I didn't. And I'm happy with the choices because, you know, if I would have done that, then my life would have been, would have ended up probably a lot different than what it is now. And I'm glad that God put me in the position to do what he wanted me to do because, um, you know, who's to say I wouldn't, I wouldn't have your mom. I wouldn't have you and I wouldn't have your sister if, you know, if things worked out differently. Um, or if I went to college first and then went to the military. So uh, um, I like the fact that I'm, I'm in awe of you every day. And I like the fact that you have a mindset of planning in place for you to pursue that. And you, you, you've kind of set yourself goals to, to kind of meet uh, on your own. And I like that about you. You take that after you take after your mom on that aspect. You, uh, you tend to, uh, you tend to uh, have goals. You set goals, and then you, you you strive for those goals. And once you meet those goals, then you push on to something else. So, and you know, I wish that when I was your age, I had that type of drive to to do that. Uh, but I, I wish you very very well. Uh, I've enjoyed the the talks that we've had, and um, I hope that these next couple of weeks leading into the winter break, if you will. I hope you uh, finish out strong with your EOCs and your final exams and your final uh, color guard test, if you will. I guess it's a test or a show, if you will. If you will. Um, I wish you luck on that. And, you know, you know I, I tell you all the time, before anything that you do, take a moment, take a deep breath, pray about it, ask God for, for guidance, ask God for clarity, ask God for courage, and I ask God for, for grace to, to see through what, what you were fixing to do. So uh, with that, I have enjoyed our talks. Today was, uh, was just to kind of talk about, you know, you, what's going on with you and your you know, the finishing of your first uh, semester as a ninth grader and what's to, what's to come after after January and uh, finish up and get into the summertime. So I, I bet you are ready for summer. What do you do during summer? What, what do you what do you want to do since, since your dad works? What do you what do you like to what do you like to do during the summer? 90 percent of the time I sleep late. I stay up <laughs> the majority of the night. Yeah. But, um, it really depends on what mom and Lily want to do. Sometimes I go out with friends, like I'll go over to a friend's house or they'll come over to my house. Or um, me, and mom, and Lily will go into town. Um, if you're off, we go to like Savannah and Jacksonville or whatever. Sometimes we go home. I know, like during July and stuff, we go home and um. Yeah, and then in the last week or two, last two weeks of July is band camp. So yeah, so you gotta get ready for that, right? Because that's a whole two weeks. Last year, kind of, it was it was two weeks, two two and a half weeks, right? Just two weeks. two two full weeks. Okay, but it was all day. All day. Right. The first week is usually only till. Um like 3.30, 
and then the second week is to 3.30. Then we have like a small break, we leave, and then we come back, and it's outside all day, every day. And like, during just the first week, we're usually inside in the gym, just colored guard is right. inside, and stuff like that. And then the next week, it's all of band. The last week is all of band. Everybody outside until lunch, and then after lunch, we're inside, and then we leave, and then we come back, and we're outside. I'm tired. Gotcha. So you got that to look forward to next summer. Mm-hmm. So a couple of trips planned or no? Um, not that I'm aware not, of. Not with band, but with, with anything going on? No? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, like I said, I hope you do well in your uh, EOCs and your exams and your color guard thing. And uh, I'm sure you'll uh, I'm sure you'll look forward to after the first of the year because then you only know that you only have half a year to go before summer hits. So, well, thank you for uh, for the talk and everything. Thank you. And uh, if you need me, you know where to find me. Mm-hmm. All right.